Hey guys, if you're a contractor and you're buying general liability insurance, whether it's the first time you're purchasing it or if you have coverage and you're looking to change your coverage or find new representation, today's video is gonna give you some good tips, three do's and three don'ts when you go out to purchase your general liability insurance policy. First and foremost, do make sure that you provide accurate and thorough information about your operations when you're starting to purchase your general liability insurance or when you're applying for your general liability insurance. It's really important that the insurance company or the broker or the agent understands your operations in total to provide you the right coverage, the right general liability policy. Because remember, no two general liability policies are the same. Policy forms differ. Coverage differs based on your operations. So do make sure that you provide as much information as possible. Don't hide information from the insurance company or from the person who's trying to help you secure general liability insurance. When I say don't, don't hide certain projects that you're involved in because you think that's going to increase the cost of your policy. Don't don't lower your gross sales, gross payroll, subcontractor exposure figures because you think that's going to save you on your general liability premium. In the long run, it's going to do nothing but hurt. It's going to hurt your coverage. It's going to cause you issues at audit. And in lots of cases, you might not be able to get on your jobs because you didn't provide accurate information up front. So there's your first do and your first don't for purchasing general liability insurance as a contractor. Next, don't settle for the first policy you find online or the first quote that you go online or any online programs for that matter. Don't settle for what you see online. Do your research. Next, do read the proposals that you're provided. Do understand the coverage forms that are provided. And if you can, do ask for a specimen policy. Ask for a sample policy so that you can see all the forms that come with that policy, the policy conditions, the language in the policy, and specifically the endorsements that are provided as part of that policy. Many times as contractors, you're going to have to be meet certain insurance requirements to get on job sites, to meet the obligations of your construction contract. That could mean additional insurance endorsements. That could mean primary and contributory wording, waiver of subrogation, per project aggregates. So do read and understand, review the proposal and understand which coverage forms are on that policy, which endorsements are provided and which are not. And don't settle just on price. If you have a few different options for your general liability proposal and you have them side by side, the price is different. Don't make that your only determining factor about which policy you want to choose. Look at all those coverage options. Look at the proposal, see how they differ, ask questions and understand why those price is different because as you know, just like anything, there's a reason for the difference in price. There's a reason why some policies are far less expensive than others. And a lot of times the exclusions and the endorsements and the coverage forms are going to dictate that and the reasons why, and also the projections that you have, the policy rating basis. What is it rated on? Is it gross sales? Is it payroll? Is it sub cost? Is it composite rated or mix of both or all three? So do understand how your policy is made up and don't settle for just price. And the last do and don't of purchasing general liability insurance that I want to give you today, do reach out and work with a trusted advisor. You're going to want an agent. You're going to want a broker. You're going to want a representative that has experience with construction insurance because general liability for contractors is not always cookie cutter. That People have to understand what they're doing. Experience matters. An agency that understands the product, that understands how to service the product. That's really, really important when it comes to your protection and then when it comes to your growth and ensuring that your business is going to be here for the long run because if you have the wrong coverage, it could really hurt you in the event of a claim or a loss or even getting on job sites and growing your business and being able to take advantage of the opportunities that you have in the market. And don't settle for the first quote that you find online. Online programs are great. They could be super easy. In a lot of cases, they're affordable, but there's a reason for that. We've had lots of people come to us after purchasing a general liability policy online and realize they can't meet all their obligations in their insurance contracts and their requirements to get on jobs. They can't produce certain endorsements that they need. When the audit comes, it's a big disaster because they put in their own information and thought they were rating their policy correctly at the end of the day they weren't really understanding the makeup of the policy, how their forms worked and endorsements. So don't settle for the first policy you find online. Do your research, find a trusted advisor. Independent agents are a great resource, especially those that have experience working with contractors and in the general liability insurance marketplace. If you have any questions or if you need help with general liability insurance, regardless of what kind of construction you're in, give us a call here at our office. We have lots of years of experience. In fact, we the large majority of what we do or the clients that we service here at our agency are in the construction industry. 858-384-1506 or hello at foagency.com. You can also ask any of your questions or comments right here on my YouTube channel. I respond to every single one of them. And please remember, give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Hit the little subscription button to be notified of any future videos that I release. And make sure you have that notification bell on so that you're made aware when the videos come out. Thanks again for watching. We appreciate your support and we hope to see you on another video very soon. Take care.